John, how do we know? How do we know when momentum is linear? Momentum is conserved. When is linear momentum conserved, Bill? Oh, when the net force is zero. Yeah, Bill. Net force equals derivative of linear momentum as a function of time is equal to zero. This means that the linear momentum as a function of time is not changing. So that leads us to the concept of the sum of the initial linear momentum equals the sum of the final linear momentum. We also have conservation of angular momentum. The way that works is if the net torque external to the object is equal to the derivative of the angular momentum as a function of time is equal to zero. Notice the exact same thing, only talking angular rather than linear. So what you get is that the sum of the angular momentum's initial equals the sum of the final angular momentum. Again, because the angular momentum will not be changing as a function of time. Now notice, you have to identify your axis of rotation. Angular momentum is always about an axis of rotation. And this is something that you guys forget, because linear momentum had nothing to do with an axis of rotation. But angular momentum clearly does, because it's always about some particular point. So whenever you're summing the torques, you torques, you have to identify that axis of rotation. Now, let's just make sure you understand what this means. What's my angular momentum class? Zero. Okay, notice, in the absence of external torque, I can't move myself, right? Right? That's what that means. Momentum is conserved right now. However, if I apply an external torque, I can cause myself to rotate, right? If I'm already spinning, if I'm already spinning, and I bring my arms in, what do I do, do to my moment of inertia? I decrease it, right? Angular momentum equals I times omega. If I decrease the moment of inertia, what happens to the angular velocity? It increases, it increases right? So if you watch, when I bring my arms and legs in, you can see that I increase my <laughs> angular velocity, right? Conservation of angular momentum. Right. There are a lot of applications in various sports where people simply bring in their arms and they increase their angular velocity because what they've done is decrease their moment of inertia. 